off. Governor Josh Shapiro delivering the state budget address today in Harrisburg, celebrating the work from both sides of the aisle and the work that still needs to be done. Newswatch 16's Melissa Steininger is here to break down his proposal and what it means for us here at home. Melissa. Well, Lisa, the governor focused on a number of topics, including creating a better future for our current students. His fix towards gun violence, that's rampant throughout our community, but he also addressed a number of hot button issues where the divide between Pennsylvania's Congress stalls out a lot of change. We need to compromise and we need to give a little to get anything done. Bipartisan efforts celebrated throughout the rotunda of the state capitol in Harrisburg during Governor Shapiro's budget address this afternoon. But the divide on the big issue showed the faults in our state's unique struggle. And in these hyper-polarized times, we're the only state where one chamber is led by Democrats and the other controlled by Republicans. That means nothing gets done unless it has the support of members of both parties. The biggest division, what to do with a $14 billion surplus sitting in Harrisburg. Shapiro says it's time to invest. It is not a badge of honor, nor is it something to be politically proud of for some lawmakers out there to say, I took more money from the good people of Pennsylvania than I needed, and then I bragged about how I just kept it in some bank account here in the Capitol. It's also stalling out a number of those hot button issues here in Pennsylvania. Y'all should be for decent wages. Come on. Including a minimum wage that hasn't been raised in 15 years. And as we've remained at a flat 725, every single one of our neighboring states has raised their minimum wage. And a boost to the economy through recreational marijuana. All of our neighbors have legalized marijuana. We are losing out on an industry that once fully implemented would bring in more than $250 million in annual revenue. Shapiro also talking about how to address an issue that hits close to so home, gun violence. This comes as a Scranton police detective was shot last month and a teen was stopped with a rifle while trying to make his way towards Scranton High School. Shapiro hoping to fund a statewide office of gun violence, putting nearly $100 million towards this issue. He's also looking to strengthen gun laws, something that doesn't sit well with every Pennsylvanian. Y'all crack me up. You like to talk a big game about law and order. So let's strengthen our laws and bring about more order in Pennsylvania and save lives. Governor Shapiro says he can make all of this happen with a cut in taxes for everyone throughout Pennsylvania. He says this is all possible through that $14 billion surplus and says $11 billion of it would still be sitting there next year, even if everything he suggested today was passed by Congress. Lisa.